Hello, my name is Tom, and today I will be discussing the works of Charles Eames in the 1944 to 1956 What Was Good Design MoMA exhibition. Charles Eames was born in 1907, St. Louis, Missouri. Still to this day, Eames is notoriously known for his unique use of materials and style in corporate architectural and furniture designs, which is still carried out today. Immediately after graduating school, Eames accepted a two-year scholarship at Washington University in 1925 to study architecture, however left shortly after moving to the Cranbrook Academy of Arts in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan to study architecture and design. During this time, Charles met his wife, Ray Eames, who was also fond of design, creating front covers for architecture magazines at the time. Charles was working as a design teacher at the academy, whilst Ray was a student. Charles and Ray married in 1941, and were from this point a well-known collaboration in many iconic projects such as the Eames House in Los Angeles, tucked away in a small forest right next to the beach, in which they lived in for many years. It was constructed in the late 40s out of prefabricated steel parts, initially made for industrial purposes. Charles had a long-lasting passion for photography, which led him to the making of many short films from the early 50s. One of these in particular was made with Ray, which evolved a sequence of short clips and images of the Eames house which they made in 1955, five years after the house was constructed. Another well-known collaborative project of theirs was the wooden leg splint that was made for the US Navy in 1942. Charles used his own leg for the cast, removing most of his leg hair in the process. Around 150,000 of them were made. From around 1946, Charles and Ray began experimenting with certain materials such as moulded plywood. This then led to many decades of mass producing furniture that became very popular in the modern household all around the world. A number of pieces of plywood furniture included chairs, tables and wooden cabinets. The pair then discovered manufacturing plastic chairs, which became very popular around the 1950s. Although the simple clean forms of the chair cradled the body, they began to move on to cleaner materials in 1951. This included wire mesh chairs, a single lightweight sturdy unit, which included a small cushion on the base to add comfort. Before marrying Ray, Charles had a daughter, Lucia, with his first wife, Catherine, who led to become extremely important to the legacy of Ray and her father. She established and founded the Eames Foundation in 2004 in order to protect and preserve the Eames House for educational purposes. While studying at Cranbrook, Charles collaborated with the fellow student, Aero Saarinen, on a group of furniture designs that won the competition for organic design in home furniture at the Museum of Modern Art. Their design proved to be successful as it displayed an atmosphere of relaxation and comfort. Coincidentally, Aero's father, Arlo Saarinen, Finnish architect, became a prime influence to Charles during his time of study. He was a key inspiration to his works as architecture was his main focus of study at that time. The piece I will be presenting from the MoMA exhibition is Charles's 1940 high back armchair, constructed from a moulded wood shell, foam rubber, upholstery and wooden legs. To help analyse the piece, I will be referring to Dieter Rams's 10 Principles for Good Design. During the early 1980s, Rams was becoming increasingly concerned about the state of the world around him. He believed that he was a significant contributor to the world. So he asked himself, is my design good? So he constructed 10 commandments to what was good design, to not just reflect his own work, but the work of others. The design is innovative as it incorporates a comfortable style. The slight slant and the high back of the chair alongside with relatively decent sized armrests to relax the shoulders and back muscles makes it a divine experience for consumers to sit in a stylish product. The design is aesthetic. Although the shape of the product produces comfort, it is also visually appealing to the user as the simplicity of the beige colour scheme does not intend to distract them from the glamour of the symmetrical curves in the wooden frame. The design is as little design as possible as well as honest as it is not designed to manipulate the consumer because the design focuses on the essential aspects. The simple straight wooden legs are arranged accordingly so the chair remains a sturdy form. 
The shape of the chair frame is purely a reflection of the idea that it is designed for comfort and is suitable and stylish for everyone to enjoy. The product is useful as its aestheticness complements that the chair can be applied to any household or business slash educational facility. Its main purpose is reached by removing the need to add any useless materials or structures which may alter its main function, which is to deliver a piece of art that is comfortable and relaxing, and still holds an authentic style. This project has inspired me to change how I can approach design tasks in the way that Charles Eames has done for many decades. For example, the process of constructing the Eames house showed me that it is not impossible nor difficult when dealing with a brief or design concept the end result can be beneficial for all. The materials you use or the way you confront a design can still be sustainable whilst maintaining its pure function and authenticity. The materials used for the house was prefabricated steel, therefore revealing that second hand materials can also save you a lot of time as well as being cost effective to deliver a piece of art. I believe I can carry out these practices into future projects of my own which will hopefully assist in how confidently I deliver my work to any client I may confront in the future.